Hi, my name is Andrew Kujovtsev and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to talk about Synclever, not the big one, the iPad application Synclever Go. And I'm going to show you my setup of using it together with Deft Audio MacroPod controller, which is, as you know, a single knob controller, which can be used as MIDI interface as well as it can transmit various messages in the real time. So one of its operational modes is actually called Synclever. In this mode, it can be used as a controller to adjust the parameters of Synclever Go application, similar to the Synclever knob, or the bigger one, knob controller of a big machine, but the difference here is that it's a rotating knob. It's not a spring-based, uh, it's just you, you move the knob and you adjust the parameters like you would do on any type of encoder-based application. Let me show how that works all together. I have a quick setup here of our MIDI keyboard connected over the MIDI to the MIDI input port of this interface. And then it's connected over the USB through the camera connection kit to the iPad. You can use it with any iPad, obviously. I'm using here with iPad too. So, uh, obviously I can play. And uh, all the MIDI information come into the interface and moves here, as well as I can adjust any parameter and then by moving the knob, uh, I can do it in the real time. Obviously, the way a knob controller works, original knob controller, it sends the pitch band information, and uh, you can use pitch band for the same reason. But if you would do that with that setup, you will lose the real pitch band. And so, in my current setup, I can use pitch band, and as well as I can control all the parameters in real time. The way it works, under the um, list of the MIDI interfaces, MacroPod is visible as four different ports. And only for the port number two, I enable it to be used as a controller, and everything else is used just as normal MIDI ports. With that, uh, now I can basically click any parameter, and MacroPod will be sending that information only to the port two, so then I can adjust all the numbers I want. Also, it's accelerated parameter, so by moving it quicker, I can quickly get to, to the value. By moving it slower, I can get with a higher precision. It's done by the analyzing the real-time information of your speed of your rotations, and so that information goes over again pitch band and translated to the pitch band information. I think it's one of the cool usages of for iPad Go and I mean, Sinclair Go with iPad and of course, Microport controller. Thank you for watching me.